<coughs> here you can click to go directly to tutorial or discord click one of this and it will take you there <coughs> it may take some time for you to load you can pause the song you can view the rules In view uh, controls, press M to open your personal inventory, roleplay controls and commands, for the vehicles, and stop, that's not. This can be open in game, F3 in game, so you can see all the controls, all the rules, so you don't go around and ask people. Okay. So once you load in, it's going to tell you to create a new character, which you can also delete them. You can delete and create new characters. So you create a new character. And don't worry about this thing here. This is where the map goes. You choose your place where you want to spawn. It only shows up once. I chose to spawn here. Well, you put your first name, last name, date of birth. I, of course, put it correctly so that if you have a problem, I can find you. Now here you can you can build your character, advance base options, changes your face, nose. You can see the nose is growing. You go back. And once you finish, press enter. Now you're gonna do your hair and all your stuff bags most of the bags there aren't here just like there's no vests most uh, helmets are not here as well caps which you can find everything in game which I explain later this is so that everybody doesn't trust the same at first they will actually have to work for it to have your cool clothes not changing <clears throat> the hell it's being stupid Changes sometimes. The fuck? Playing stupid. Then he stops. <laughs> Anyways, you get the point. It's probably need a server restart. And then you go here and you save it. And you get uh, some some items at beginning. 200 metal is the currency, have a flashlight, uh, canned food, dirty water, to, to use to drink you need to boil to drink in the campfire, bandage, and a uh, bat. So you press F5, um, number 5 you get a bat. You can put it on your back as well, on your hands. If you see a campfire, 
telling you to use. You can boil water. So you need two dirty water, which you have four. So once you load in. Is where you buy clothes. You can only um, give me a second. <coughs> yeah, I'm a bit sick. To buy clothes, you have to trade them for animal pelts, which I'll show you how to get them. First things first, it's you should look at your map. We have a satellite map. This is where you are. This is uh, called the Citadel. <laughs> so, you have a material shop, clothes shop, med, med bay, which is a shop, crafting stations, a weapon shop. This is where you can buy a lot of stuff. And you can sell cars as well. So, we'll just look at your map. Yes, first, so you know what what does the server have, what can you do. So if you go to a shop, it's a food shop, you can buy food if you want to. <laughs> and the shops are where you over there on top. They're the same thing. This way you can do some missions. If you want to do this or this, you get metal in return, which is 150, 100, or 200. Press fan 30 tells you where, uh, what you need to have to do this mission. You need to have two pistols, ammo, and bandage. Tells you the destination. And if you have the, you don't have the, you don't have the requirements to do the missions. So. If you go here, there's a locker. This locker is free. You can open and put your stuff in there. It will be assigned to you. You can stack items or unstack. So you can go here and put just one. Take one. You can unstack them. Same for weapons. See, it only moves one. Stack it. You can put it whatever you want. It will stay here. So. <laughs> these are quests. When you see these uh, white balloons. The ones that says quest, it's because it's a quest, like this one, it's it's not a quest, it's somewhere where you have to go, of course, as a quest, but it's not a quest, it's only the ones that say quests. So what you're going to do is, you're going to speak to them, you press E, it's going to speak to you, and you can say yes or no, you can do the mission yes or no. You see this? It's because this is a place where you can save cars. So if you have a car, in most interior garages, you will find uh, a, a marker like that, which means that you can save cars. You see how the big one shows?
go here. Proceed to save. You wait a little while for this one to show. Now you can take your car out of the garage. Everything saves. Um, engine health, fuel, mods, uh, even pop tires. The only thing is not saving is deliveries, but I will make it so that it saves. So once you get inside the car, seat belt, you press K. That is your skills as well. You can manually turn off the car or turn it on, which is the key. You can also press um arrow key down to leave the lights on and the car down on. Uh, we use blackout mode and cars here have a uh, real light uh, real lights for cars. No need to use spotlights anymore. Turn them off. Um, we have a um, realistic handling. You see how I, I stop going forward and it goes slowly. It's like you're on a controller. And same for um, when you hit with your car. <coughs> it's not like you can hit a hundred times and your car is too long. You only hit two or three times and you can't drive it anymore. See now it's yellow and it's gonna go to red. And that's it. Now you need to repair the car. This is to avoid uh, people driving like stupid around and failing RP you can also do when inside of a car you can open the trunk the, the glove box you have your seat belt you can get off you can go here and open the trunk you can see you can put your stuff in there Let's delete this. Uh, here's is another shop. Got a shop. You can buy a map. I would suggest getting a map. You gotta put the amount. So it's 99. The price is never the same. So. What are you talking about? It's 99. Why does he it say it's 9000? Oh, so I can buy that, but I can't buy the map. What the hell? Anyways, you can buy the best can. See this can. It's actually stupid. I need to check why. Hmm. Anyways, if you buy a ma map, all you have to do is use it, and now you have a. The mini map. So, yeah. He's here, you talk to him, he will tell you uh, what cars does he need. <coughs> Won't be in VF Jack and, and Dune. So if you have these cars you come back to him and he will give you money for them. This is the shops, weapon shops. This is where you can craft stuff. <coughs> Press 
press it to craft. Misc stuff, repair kits, tire kits, you can craft a map, you don't need to buy it. Same for all this, and you press on it, it will tell you what you need. So you need all this. Walkie talkie. To radio. You need all that. And same for everything else. Medical, weapons. You get it. Alright. No, you cannot go in no clip. That's for staff only. So let's start with your menus. F1 is V menu. Of course, you won't have all these options. You probably have play related options, play options, and that's it. F3 will bring the panel game where you can see all the controls and everything else. So this one's not for you. F6 is emotes. F7, this is to build your base. So you can build your base, it serves for structures. If you have them, you can choose the st structure. So if you want metal fence, one item required, you need 30 scrap metal. So everything needs a. Uh... So it tells you you do not have all the items. Yeah. This is not for you. Alright, so. This tip, just pads where you can talk to, they will tell you useful stuff. Um, so, yeah, now let's go to loot things. Not all cars you can loot, but you can loot some. If you chose to press E2. You can only search it once, because it will tell you I have already searched here, because I clicked twice. You can find scrap brass. Because it goes here. So not all cars, but some of the cars. So yeah. Um, you can search a, a lot of props, a lot of objects. You just need to know each ones. For example you can search here which gives you dirty water, you can search here for sodas. Um, you can search dumpsters. Dumpsters is different, it's using this the inventory script. Which I'll show you when I find one. It won't tell you anything. You just have to go close and press M. You find garbage. You don't want garbage. This is just to create a, a realistic uh, dumpster. You can find garbage in some or items. Still only garbage. Garbage. Thing. You're gonna be close to it. Nothing. So yeah, you get it. You can find items in there. Now you can find random cars all over the map, like this one. Just find one. Another dumpster. You can see you find rubber. Also, if you find a car, you can search. This only appli um, is applicable to spawning cars, where you can check the truck if they have items or not. It's probably with somebody here. They took all the items. And same thing for inside. Okay. When you enter inside the car, it will tell you you need to hotwire or find the keys. You also need a, a wrench to repair the car, and you need to fix the engine. 
and you need an oil filter and engine oil see you can find the glove box has more trash on it <laughs> so you can try and find the keys you don't need to hot wire if you need to hot wire you need to have an item so you didn't find the keys there's no keys so I'm gonna show you how to fix the car If you have a wrench, you use it and you put it in your hand and you can see the parts that you need to put it on up. As you can see, oil filter. So you can add and remove parts. So if you have the parts, you just add them. After you add them, you fix the engine. Find the keys or hotwire the vehicle and the vehicle is yours. And then you can go save it in a interior garage, any interior garage. Same for the engine. Uh, so you can remove them so uh, left alt press uh, plus s I remove the spark plug see or I can add them again so you can remove the parts and get all the parts for you so when you find another car you probably have all the parts remove this one this one and I remove all these parts. More stuff that you can search. It's these boxes. You can search for batteries, uh, oil, a lot of things. There's cars all over, so you just find them. Um, food. You can find some in bandits. So this, this is. There's no zombies. This is not a zombie server. It's a close to real life server. So it has bandits all over. Which, luckily, we haven't found any. So let me go ahead and show you how to get food. You can farm for bread. You can uh, kill uh, bandits. Sometimes they have food, or you can go hunt. So when you when you close to a hunting location, it will show you like in the map, like this. That means there's a hunting location here. And uh, hunting locations they have uh, skills. So the more skills, the more animals you can find, or the more items you can get from them. So let's see if I can get anything in here. Okay, you found an animal footprint, and it takes you and it points you where is the second one. So now you gotta track the animal, and you find it's eject. So you press again, let's see if we have luck enough. Nope, it seems that the animal feces is cold, the animal is, the animal is long gone. Either way, if you knew, even if you find the animal, you need a knife. So, you need a knife to skin the animals. You will give you pelt and meat. And depending on the animal, the meat will give you more or less or less um, percentage to hunger, to increase your hunger. And the pelts, uh, it's to trade for clothing. Uh, next. Basically, you just use common sense. So, next, as you can see here, this is a contaminated area. So, you see your pet starts coughing because you're in a contaminated area, and your radiation bar starts growing, starts decreasing. So, to avoid this, you need a gas mask. So you probably last one minute inside and you die. So you need a gas mask, <coughs> which they're a bit expensive. But you can find um, a lot of loot in contaminated areas. 
and cars that you don't find anywhere else. So as you can see, there's one, two, three, four, uh, five, six contaminated areas. You can find cars that you can't find anywhere else. Also, the cars you find in the desert are not the same you find in the south or in the north. They're all different. So there's loads of uh, different cars. Which makes it be uh, more realistic. Because usually the cars in the desert are not the same as the ones in the city. Um, okay, bandits. Let's just uh, do a shootout here. I'm just going to use this. It's just easy for me. Also, we have server side sounded weapons. As you can see, the sound was not going to be the same. Oh, you see that changing over there in the corner? That's a firing mode. You have um, safety on, you won't shoot. One, thrust, and now You see, the bandits already started shooting me. If you start shooting, they come around. They find you very easily. There's no rectal, you need to manually reload. And if you want to increase the, the clip, you actually need to buy magazines and otherwise you won't load more than one clip. So you make use of that. And see server side weapons sound modified ones you can loot them metal you found metal oh. as you can see the sound is very different you gotta reload because automatically all the shots won't go to the same place because you need to have skills for shooting the more skills the more straight you shoot See how the camera shakes. Sometimes the skills doesn't work, you have to do that command. See now the camera shakes, so the more skills you have, the less shake will have. So it's a bit annoying in the end, in the beginning, but it adds realism. Same for running, same for everything. You see how it was increasing? So yeah. So yeah, so we did cars, we did looting. We did hunting, crafting, shops, and of course, um, this is a roleplay server. You can also do AFK. This is your safe zone, so you can be killed. It's like you can pause the game and people will see that you are AFK, they can't interact with you. And you can leave and start your game. You can do slash me, which adds a watch do 3D message on top of your head. If you have a radio, you can broadcast messages. Everybody will be able to see it. Um, am I missing something? You can use a bandage to heal yourself.
this heals you. I still have to build a, a lot of custom maps. But some are already made. It's all customized. See so another you know, core being spawned in there. Does that have anything? And I think that's it. can find uh, more stuff to loot like these crates it has the gun parts where you can craft guns find nothing um, you can find weapons around as well not all of them at least the melee ones you can find them. Is there any in here? Oh, you see it? There's a bat in there. So, this is how you found them. Randomly. All over the map. And as you can see, they are not stacked. But, um, because weapons don't stack. So you can have uh, three bats, three pistols, whatever. And yeah, I guess that's everything. Um, I guess we can go here as well. So this is another fortress where you can buy cl trade clothes again. <coughs> There's a specific thing you can do here you can do anywhere else, which is selling your items. You go to this guy here, and you can sell your items. And just go here and say, oh, I want to sell some items. I have a GPS, but I need it. And glue, wood logs, scrap brass. You can also buy cars. You go here. So the cars you can buy. Yeah, this is another fortress. Fortresses are not safe zones. They belong to the war boys. They're the ones who protected them, but uh it's a safe zone against the bandits. Bandits won't don't come inside. But uh, there is no safe zones, so you gotta mind your actions. So just mind that. In. Yeah, I guess that's it. All right. See you around.